I'm planning to start a series. The series is called A Faith of Engineering Students. This episode is, here, is over history and the very importance of it. History is a very important to a Christian because our faith is based on things that have happened in the past, that have recorded, and that here's an example in the Bible where the accounts are absolutely, without a doubt, based on eyewitness accounts. Many people have set out to write accounts about the events that have been fulfilled among us. They use eyewitness reports circling among us from very early disciples, having very carefully investigated from everything from the beginning. Also, you have decided to, I have decided to write a careful account for you. Most are of the monsters, you can, so you can be certain that the tr of the truth and everything you were taught. Luke was the more intellectual of the prophets. He was going to make sure things were accurate. And I'm happy that he did. My faith is built on <coughs> these eyewitnesses, eyewitnesses accounts. Especially, I feel very confident in the eyewitnesses witness accounts of Jesus Christ's death and resurrection. The Romans were very good at what they did at, at basically executing people. They could tell when someone was dead or not. And they choked by, as the accounts go by, using a spear and see if the, the blood cells have separated from the walk, from the liquid or water, or whatever you want to call it, plasma. And when they buried Jesus, they put him in the tomb. They had a heavy, heavy stone. According to our logic and history, of our knowledge of the history of the time, it weighed about several tons. So if he suddenly woke a uh, revive, which is very, very unlikely, no one really... So, fives a crucifixion. They basically suffocate you and and you bleed to death. If he, for some odd reason, would revive, he wouldn't be getting out. Only way he could got an out was through a supernatural means and came back alive through supernatural means. And also, when he appeared to the apostles, they were, they're common people. They were, they were not super religious like, say, like the Pharisees. If you would find these people today, they would be engineers and business people. The common folk. And some of them were quite int more smarter than others, and they were very skeptical. They had to see for themselves if the truth to make sure. Of course, who wouldn't? Also, he had doubting Th Thomas that put his finger in Jesus' hand to see the, to feel the nail hole. He wanted to make sure that it was truly Jesus. They just saw him die on the cross for some sake of logic. Dick takes this guy was better than a door now. So that they so they wanted to make sure that it was truly a miracle and not something else. And of course if you have seen someone who just died and you know who had died and was again you would be surprised too. There was five hundred five hundred people who saw this and written it down. History was definitely made. And all throughout the Bible, you'll see in people's ministries where God would send prophets who did not want to be prophets 
Jonah was an example. He, he was sent to Nineveh. He didn't want to go. He went on a, oh, the uh, other way. You find that nowhere else in any religious text that prophets not wanting to be prophets. Because you find in other all religions, you just find one prophet, no history background whatsoever. That one man stand. In the Bible, you got tons of prophets, and they were operating on a historical system. They were making predictions in the future and warning people about the things they had, the promise they made centuries ago with God that they would follow his commandments. And many of them were real killed or threatened for their lives for, because they wanted to serve God. And, and wanted help the people. And many of their accounts were written down today. And there were actually a place in the Bible where all this history of the Jewish nation could have been lost. They actually left the time when the temple was so miscapped because the people have turned away from God so far back. They, they just didn't like it. I guess. Um, there's probably tons of other reasons that they, it was almost lost and one king found it and or else they're going to write down this event. In fact, kings was, you'll find many of the accounts of how their reign was and how, how the, reviewed by God and what things they did in history. And also, God, Jesus used Jonah as an example of his death and resurrection, that he would be dead for three days. Also, Jesus would refer to the Pharisees that only an evil generation would cause Macri's sign. If you don't believe the prophets, and that their accounts were historically true, who are going to believe? Even if you see something today, it's your own eyewitness accounts. If you don't believe eyewitness accounts in the past, how can you believe eyewitness accounts of today? As you can see, history plays a big role. Many people debated that many people in, who wrote these historical accounts were liars. But you can notice there's been great trouble to make sure that the truth was found and many people would not die or be persecuted for something they believed was a lie. And many of these people, the only way they could have believed, believed it, if they saw it with their two own eyes, you'll find the disciples would, or the, those type of people that would only believe if they saw it. Or they could have heard it, but the counts made you in the and and the four gospels make you think that way. And this actually includes my this first episode. Maximum respect, and always keep on finding new things out.